Hi, I wanted to um, give credit to a, a very well done CT of the wrist and to show why it's well done and to explain image plane prescription and so forth. This uh, CT was done to evaluate this scaphoid fracture that you can see here. So what, uh, what was done is on the axial CT you can see that there is an angle to the wrist, right? It's not, it's not straight up and down. So rather than obtaining planes that are sagittal like this and coronal like this, with the MPRs, the technologist appropriately, let me see if I can get my cut lines here, um, went to the distal radial ulnar joint and saw that the axis between along the distal radial ulnar joint is angled like this. And so the MPRs were made, the multiplanar reformats were made, these are the coronals, and the saginals are perpendicular to that. See that? Um, too often I see people reformatting images according to the tabletop position. In MSK imaging, wrist is one example. You always have to do it along the axis of the joint. And of course the landmarks are different for each uh, joint. So these are the conventional images and the, and the normal. This is the sagittal images and I just wanted to show you something. So you can see that the scaphoid bone which starts here and then here's the fracture and then you can see the head out here is seen on multiple slices but it's a little bit of an oblique angle because the sagittal plane for the wrist kind of cuts through the through this fracture obliquely and through the scaphoid obliquely so you know we've been working on doing um, dedicated scaphoid views so what the technologist did was took this this kind of coronal oblique image and then if I can find the right thing um, create an imaging plane along the long axis of the scaphoid. So this is, well, by the long axis I mean the, this is not a round circle, right? It has a long and a short axis, so this is an imaging plane along the long axis, and created this sagittal plane, which is the scaphoid view. This is the long axis sagittal oblique scaphoid view, and you can see the scaphoid almost in its entirety on a single slice and that's what we're looking for and that's what the surgeons are looking for and that was well done. Uh, in addition the surgeon asked for 3D images or volume rendered images and here's uh, nicely done volume rendering. Uh, really they're looking for the scaphoid morphology so in theory you could remove the radius or even remove the other carpal bones and just focus on the scaphoid but I think in this case it's well seen. So good job.